Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Passive Money Plan. Kirby, Alex over there. See, I got it right this time. Uh, today, today, we're going to talk about, y'all, everybody here to add is time is money. Time is money. Time is money. Everybody here. Um, if time is money, so what we're going to talk about, if time is money, then why don't you spend more time making money? Now, this is a topic I really believe me and Alex, we got different viewpoints on this. So it won't be a one that me and Alex agree with each other. So maybe we didn't enlighten each other. Maybe Alex will tell me a concept in his brain that uh, make me maybe change my ways. Or I might say something to Alex and be like, oh, but we'll see how it goes. So Alex, what is your concept of time is money? Just what's your concept? I, yeah, I hear it a lot. Um... I always hear from like, you know, but like from hourly workers. So I don't know. It's a, I don't know. It's a, I'm not sure if I understand like the question, like, um, what, what you think I, time is money? When, when you hear that word, what do you think? Just that like, if you're wasting time, then you're wasting opportunity to make money, I guess. Yeah. And that's what I agree. And, and so do you see any areas in your life right now where you believe you're wasting time where you could be making more money? Do you see any opportunities that you may have in your life where you could trim time to make money? Yeah. Yeah. I think there's always times where you can, um, I think there's always areas that can be, that can be improved. I would say. For sure. Okay. So, all right, so for me, so for me, this is one that Alex, this is one I think Alex is gonna be like, huh? But all right, so I'm always talking about food, right? I always talk about food. And and I know in Alex, I know in Alex's brain, look, I I know in Alex's brain, every time he calls me, I'm usually in a drive-thru or something like that. And I know in his brain, he's adding up the money. Like, oh, no, he bought that. That's that's $5.75. You know what I mean? <laughs> but the, the reason, the, the main reason, besides I like food, that I go and I go to eat fast food and stuff like that is because it saves me time. I Do I know how to cook? Yes. But now just think about it. If I go in the kitchen, prepare food, cook, eat, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Let's say each one is going to take up an hour of time. That's three hours a day. That's, let's just say Monday through Friday. That's 15 hours a week. 15 hours a week, four weeks in a month. That's 60 hours in a month. Then I wasted making food. So, with that time, with that time, now you, so for people that don't know, you only need to make, if you want a pay raise, a $10,000 pay raise, you just have to find a way to make $28 a day, every day to get a $10,000 pay raise in your life. So in three hours, I can find a way to make $28. But if I'm losing that three hours every day cooking, then that's three hours, that's 60 hours a month that's what 72 hours a year right i'm thinking I'm thinking close right no that's 720 hours a year right 720 hours a year that i'm wasting on mundane tasks so i can go prep do all that or i could just go through the drive through hit the value meal grab and keep on eating while i'm driving there i'm still working on business only thing I do is it takes me two seconds to do my order, drive up, grab my order. When I leave the, I'm usually 90% of the time I'm on the phone when I'm giving my order because I just like, hold on, get my order, get my food. And then I'm driving, still doing business on my phone and I'm eating. By the time I get back home, I didn't finish the food and I'm back to the ground. So really I only have like a three minute, four minute time wasted and that's it. So, Alex, what you got to say about that? <laughs> as soon as you said food, I was like, oh, I know where this is going. But, okay, so I would agree and I with you. I would say, though, that I think your position 
I wouldn't say your time is more valuable than my time, but your position is way more high than mine is. Where, what I mean by that is you have so many assets and businesses that for you, three hours is detrimental. Whereas I'm still building it. And like, while I cook, I'll edit videos and stuff. But like, as far as where can I, like, I don't think I have enough, I don't have enough real estate to, oh, I could, or like enough uh, cash coming in to be constantly buying new real estate deals and stuff like that. So I, I don't think I'm at the point yet where I know eventually cooking will be a waste of time for me. Um, but like, even if, and I think like, even if I'm like, oh, how do I make $28 to like compensate for this? Like, I, I don't, I could find inventory to sell, to flip, I guess, during that time. Um, but then it'd be the same thing as like, you know, you can it'd be taking a chance as far as like, cause sometimes it, I'm just trying to think of ideas, but like sometimes it takes longer than an hour to actually find a good item to flip and whatever. So yeah, I don't we, know. You, you're breaking, you're breaking it down to just the hour, but we said 720 hours, but again, yeah, but if you're doing it, because, day. yeah. So, but think about it this way. I have enough. Yeah. I have the, I have a lot of, my hands are in a lot of pots. So it should be more of, well, now he's more, more financially free. Oh, he should have time to sit down and eat. He should have time. No, no, I, I wouldn't agree with that. No, because you have more to to handle and deal with. And you have, I think your cash flow is so large that you don't have time to waste because you should be closing more deals. So like, and while I'm building my cash flow, it's like, I don't know, I, I always feel like I hit a... Uh, like a dead spot whenever like I close one deal. Cause then now I have to go back to like saving money and I'm, you know, having to maybe use active income to do that as well. And um, like, I don't have, it's not like the following day. I'm like, now I have more cash flow to just like close the next deal. And then the next, I think if I'm at that point, then me spending, you know, I can't be like, hold on. <laughs> Like I can't tell the inspectors like hold on I'm cooking right now <laughs> like like that wouldn't make sense um so I I think it's just like I I think that the time that I have like these pauses from like closing deals me cooking saves money from like eating out to where I can save more of that active income to close the next deal to bring in more cash flow. If that makes you know, sense. No, I understand. I understand. I understand why you do it. And it makes it makes sense. The only thing I'm doing is giving you the inverse. I'm what I'm saying, I'm giving you the inverse is all right. So now, and I'm not saying change your ways, stick to what you're doing, but I'm just giving you the alternative to it. The alternative is 720 hours. And 720 hours. I can brainstorm and think of ways to get creative on a deal. I can brainstorm research on how to make more money. So if I could save seven, 720 hours a year, if time is money, 720 hours, will I will find a way to make more money. Maybe it's a new venture. Maybe it's something else. Now, so again, I only believe in time efficiency. When I mean time efficiency, I have a wife, Alex has a wife. Alex's wife can cook way better than he can. Don't let him fool y'all. Alex, Alex, I have a wife. My wife can cook better than me. So, and I'm not being misogynist or nothing like that. So, if I'm cooking, this is exactly how I feel. If I'm cooking, I'm wasting time and opportunity to make more money somewhere else. And I, and so, even with my wife, when my wife comes in and says, hey, do you want something to eat? Or what do you want to eat? I don't say, hey, yeah, make the steaks you made last week or do this or do that. My only reply, because she asked me about 85% of the time, what do you want to eat? I always say, only make what is the fastest and most efficient thing that you can make. Because I'm agnostic to the food. I just know food, I have to eat it to get full, get full to have fuel to keep going. 
That that's it. I don't care if it's a bologna sandwich. I don't give a care if it's filet mignon. I don't care what it is. Just give me something that will fuel me to keep going. And it's the fastest. And then while my wife's in there cooking, I'm still here working. She said to here. And what my wife do is she figured out a grand plan is just put it all in one bowl. Just throw it, pile it all in one thing. Because the only thing he's going to do is keep working. Just scoop. Just give me a spoon and scoop. So, you know, we might have rice, shrimp, salad, but it's all mashed together. So I can just keep eating so I can get back to work. Because me, the only thing I just care about the food coming in. And that's what I, but I care about efficiency of everybody's time and not just mine. But that's how I look at it. I can find other ways. I can find another business opportunity. I can scour the, I can scour the uh, MLS. I can scour business for sale and things like that. I mean, like I tell you, even during the holiday season, when everybody's taking a break, I'm up scouring because I know they're not paying attention. I'm being very efficient with my time. And then, I mean, like the the duplex, the duplex. It was like between the holidays when I called you and I was like, oh, I just found it. It just came on MLS. Bam, I whacked and took it out. It was only on there for like 12 hours. But that's what I mean by I can always find time to, I use all the time efficiently to find ways to make money. And that's why I believe time is money. So every ounce of time I can get, I feel, I feel, not, and that's not always true, but I feel that I can find an opportunity to make more money. So that's my view on the whole concept. But I just wanted to bring up food because I know Alex being there cooking like he, uh, like he's Chef Bourdain or something. And he's not, y'all. He's not. <laughs> no, I mean, and I agree. I think that's why, like, if I am cooking, I try to, because uh, cooking doesn't require that much work. You know what I mean? It's just like you prepare it, you throw it on the, what? It, it does it. It's super easy. I, I guess. I guess. <laughs> So, so my point is like, while I'm cooking, I'm like, I'll listen to our videos. I'll re-listen to them to see what points need to be edited out. So I'll be editing videos or I'll take calls or um, sometimes I'll even have like my laptop right next to the stove looking at stocks and stuff. Cause it's just like, you know, I'm constantly trying to like be multitasking basically. Um, but I, I think, though, yeah, eventually, I think because I always think like in the future where, you know, if I am pulling in more cash flow, more passive income, that I'll constantly just be closing more deals. So it's like, will I have time to cook then? No. But like, I think now I can juggle like cooking while also multitasking, doing something else at the same time. But that's the way I see it. Now, one thing I remember, you left this one out, not just food, but you always tell me you're wasting your time cutting the grass. <laughs> like, why don't you just pay something? I remember you used to say that. Yeah. I mean, and and that's that's another thing, like cutting the grass. I, I mean, it's not that I don't know how. It's that time can be used. And I'm not saying working on things. I mean, of course, I can work on the things that I normally do and then cook, go cut the grass, do all the other stuff. But, and we just had the, the conversation, um, not saying names, but contractor comes, contractor comes, and and then they asked about, did I buy the supplies? Well, no, that, that takes time. I don't want to buy supplies. The reason why I call you is so you can go do everything so I can have my time. And that's, that's what it is. Time, my time is more important. That hour or so that it takes me to go buy the supplies to bring it back to you is time that I could be using, make, finding a way to make money. And, and it's not about managing what I already have. I The efficiency on what I already have is, is easy for me. I try to automate everything that I already have. So all the time that I'm saving is to find something new, find something new, to add, 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 add. So if I see something like, a business proposition come up or I'm looking through contracts or something of potential deals or something like that. Or if I'm looking for business to sell, that's what I'm doing. I mean, even sometimes when I don't even have the cash to do it, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. I don't want to take my eye off the, the goal. I'm looking to uh, see if it's something out there that can give me an opportunity. I mean, you know, it's creative, creative financing. If I don't have the all the cash I need to, let's like, say, buy a business. 
you know, it's creative financing, it's uh partial payments down, it's uh hell, get a loan or something like that. It's different ways that you can acquire. But if my eye is off of that, then it's kind of like real estate. If you ain't paying attention to it, somebody that picked up a hell of a deal and you look like, oh, oh man, that's over that much. It's because everybody's time is fixated everywhere else. If you if time is money, and this is my view. I mean, Alex's view is Alex is doing very well for himself. Alex's view is Alex's view, which is fine. But my view is if time is money, I need to spend as much time as I can on finding ways to make money. And that's all I got. Fair enough. Then Alex is going to be like, no, nah, I can't put that spaghetti sauce together, baby. We got, <laughs> I got stuff to do. He just find a way to get out of doing work. So Alex's wife, I ain't do this to him. <laughs> All right. Well, with all that being said, guys, let us know down below who you agree with. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video.